Welcome back everyone. Today is Thursday, May 26th, 2022. And I'm really excited to share with you guys, finally, my lower garden, my in-ground garden, my planted garden is uh, finally 100% done. And uh, there's two portions to it. This is the first one, the larger portion. Just fi finally finished getting this in the ground yesterday. It had been a long time coming. Had some really bad weather. Um, and just coordinating dry weather with time off work is very difficult. And uh, as of a couple days ago, we were um, the ninth wettest May in the history of Cincinnati. Um, and that was with I mean, almost 10 days to go in the month. Uh, and it is course rained. I mean, it's soaking right now, but it's, it's, it's not raining at this exact second. So I came out here and, and, and did this, um, but there's a good chance that we get very close to breaking the record for rainfall in the month of May, uh, which can sometimes be good, sometimes be bad, especially when you're trying to plant things. But really excited to share this with you guys. I'll, I'll walk through all this and uh, yeah, we'll do a full full garden review update if you will starting over here we have a sable miner um, this one I actually just received from uh, another youtuber our buddy at Cincy Tropics uh, he and I synced up a couple weeks ago and, and he actually gave this to me so super nice guy definitely check out his channel that's Cincy Tropics two words um, but yeah beautiful sable miner um, he had mentioned and, and had written there that it's from Warren County, Arkansas. Maybe I wasn't searching properly, but I didn't actually find a Warren County, Arkansas. However, I did find a city of Warren in Arkansas, so it could be that. But either way, it's an Arkansas variety. So really excited to see how well this does. Should be super cold hardy. Here we have a needle palm. And, um, and this one's said to have been about four or five years old. Um, I purchased this from someone actually in Northeast Ohio, uh, up by Cleveland. And, and I asked them, of course, the age, and they said about four or five years, um, where they got it from. And they said it was sourced from a plant from either this plant or the, the mother plant from uh, Georgia. So one of the colder uh, varieties of, of needle. And um, in Cleveland, it was not wintered indoors. It was wintered in a unheated hoop house. So it'll be interesting to see. I could tell when I got it outside that it was the first time it had been outside because a lot of the leaflets and uh, had, had turned down and, and kind of folded, if you will. and kind of AKA like had a little breaking point there. So I could tell it had always been indoors. So that's interesting, but I'm glad I'm getting all, all this in in May and it has all summer to adjust here. Uh, and we have here another Sable Miner. This is my rescue. Um, this is one that uh, I've got some videos on. I actually threw down the hill right back there and uh, in, in the winter and, and it, uh, survived on its own so this thing is super hardy not i mean not just cold hardy but this is a hardy plant it's tough as nails so i'm be really interested to see how it does now that it's in the ground and uh yeah i'll really be uh looking forward to it right here we have some pink china calocasia uh this is another um call out from Cincy tropics uh, i bought this plant but he called out that this is a variety of calocasia that can survive here in Cincinnati and uh, and come back on its own as, as a perennial. So I'm going to give that a shot. I have three of them. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to having um, hen-crowned elephant ears that come back in Cincinnati would be amazing. It would be amazing. All right. Moving back here. We got two bananas course a staple uh, Musa Baju sounds coming out a little bit um, I actually bought these from a, a, a nursery here called Natorps and they actually produce 
um, their own trademarked cultivar called Northern Wonder. Um, supposedly it has even more hardiness to it, so we will see. Um, but yeah, I have six of those, and uh, you'll see all of them. And then all throughout here, we have all types of canna lilies. Uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So rough count 16 canna lilies in here. Um, all different shapes and sizes and colors. Yellows, reds, oranges. Um, I think that's called a Bengal there. Pretty cool foliage. This one is called like a Stugard, I want to say. I don't know. I, ha I, I kept all the tags so I can go back there, but it's just really wet right now. A little bronze colored one here. So, yeah, uh, a lot of YouTubers have said that these should come back. Uh, here in Cincinnati so we will see um, almost all of these were four dollars so I don't feel bad if if things don't work out the only cannas in here that weren't four dollars were uh, these this one and this one and I think those are both 16 bucks maybe so I'm not out a whole lot if it doesn't work out but really excited to see it and I've got two calla lilies here uh, again Cincy Tropics has mentioned that um, these will come back so we will we will see the whole goal of this in-ground perennial tropical garden is that I don't uh, have to protect anything I don't want to have to protect anything I don't mind kicking some mulch over something cutting it down to the ground but uh, yeah no boxes I don't plan on doing any of that um, I want things to survive here on their own with little to no intervention by me. Um, now, what did I plant these in, guys? I just planted them straight into the <laughs> the Cincinnati clay. I did not amend any soil you see here. Um, I didn't amend anything. I literally just came out here, dug a hole in the ground, and plopped the plopped the plant in and tried my best to cover it back up with clay which wet clay is not easy to break up into small pieces. Um, so no amendment of soil, and I just covered it up with just generic black mulch. Um, so I'm really interested to see how things do with our clay and uh, with no amendments. I know that's not recommended. I know that, you know, if I wanted to see better results, I would have put in all sorts of better soils, but you know what? Um, I just really want to roll with what we have here and, and see if things will go on their own with our current configuration here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, so this will be a good taste for, you know, if things are hardy enough here on their own. And then moving over here to my second garden that I've, that I planted kind of just because I ran out of room, quite frankly, over there. Um, but I got another little patch here. Oh, and I didn't mention that uh, the second elephant ear is right there, and of course two bananas as well. Um, so we've got two bananas in the back, another elephant ear flanked by four more uh, canas. Yeah, so some flowers coming out on this one, but it uh, looks like we've got white and maybe rose, I think, are the colors of this one. So, yeah, this is kind of the second piece to it. But uh, I think that'd be a pretty cool backdrop to have those tropicals there and right over top of the, the native woodlands here in the Midwest. I think that'd be a pretty cool look. Uh, this area does not get... A lot of sun this area gets more sun but still not a lot so we will uh, we'll see guys but 
yeah hopefully we get some good growth out of here hopefully everything survives and uh and thrives all on all on its own and you can see here this is the soil i'm dealing with back here i mean just straight just straight clay guys that's all that it is so that is what these are all planted in so if these make it out of here i'll tell you what they're pretty tough plants especially things that like sandy soils or anything like that so yeah any questions guys let me know um again i planted these things straight into the native clay soil um i don't plan on protecting any of these other than cutting them to the ground and uh it's starting to rain again and maybe mulching over them uh, but as far as the palms go i plan on doing no protection um my barn is right here and uh and that's kind of why i put those where i put them my barn to protect this is due west right here uh and then this is north uh this way um so obviously here much like all of the eastern united states the weather comes from the west so um, hopefully we'll get some good protection there from that barn that barn's unheated of course so there's not like any heating elements there but uh, hopefully it'll protect for the western winds from the northern winds yeah it's probably gonna get hit by that um i'm up on top of, of this hillside so we'll see but yeah there it is that's the that's the lower garden let me know what you guys think thanks for watching